think of the state of the kind of lithium ion battery market? So, you know, Tesla is scaling up the, this tradi very traditional technology. Um, you know, they'll have some innovations, you know, working with Panasonic, but then kind of you have this next step beyond kind of what they're working on, which is lower cost. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, do you see kind of your technology kind of leapfrogging over the traditional lithium ion industry? Can the traditional lithium ion industry make batteries that are cheap enough to uh, transform energy storage, or will it be a next generation technology like yours? We believe that solid state is a next generation technology for sure. Uh, scale it in the lamination space, which is the incumbent technology, uh, we regard that as very helpful because what it does is uh, enable uh, products to be executed, which create markets for next generation technology. So disruption is kind of almost an overused word at this point, but the reality is there are generations in technology. And one of the ways that um, I think in, in my um, own life that I've seen is that one way to characterize whether something is really different technology is if it's manufactured in a completely different way. And the lamination technology, the incumbent technology, uh, those batteries are made by uh, lamination lines. Um, compaction of particles are used to make porous electrodes, and then liquid electrolyte is used in those systems. And that liquid electrolyte improves the diffusivity of the materials overall, but comes at a cost of, over time, dissolving the cathode and causing some unwanted side reactions. So our technology is all solid state like memory, like other solid state devices that have come out and sort of supplanted things that are non-solid state. And that gives an opportunity to have a much, much higher energy density because it gets rid of all the parasitic mass. But fundamentally, it's made in a very different way by something called vacuum deposition.